Hello, everybody. Good How evening. are you? Good evening, my friend. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Heather. Welcome back. Thank you. <laughs> Give me a second, guys. Give me a second. Ok, hay una diferencia ahora. Muy bien. Uh, welcome to this session. Welcome to inglés corporativo. Uh, the second session for the second week that we have for today. A new knowledge. Are you ready? Forget that this knowledge. ¿Están listos para adquirir este nuevo conocimiento? Yes. Yes, That's right. Okay, perfect. That is the attitude. Let me share my screen. One second. Okay, let me start as a warm section that we uh, watched yesterday. Porque después de esto sigue el ejercicio. Entonces voy a volver a poner el video para que refresh your mind. Eh, y nos recordemos que vimos ayer y así poder hacer bien el ejercicio. Y salir on fire como ayer que hicimos otros ejercicios bien. Okay, perfect. Let me share this. Let's analyze a couple of examples. When talking about food, let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency are words that come before the verbs. And they express frequency. For example, <coughs> you like to express that you take a shower every day. 100% of the time. That will be always. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100%. Usually equals 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. 
the subject is I, the advert of frequency is always, the verb is eat, and the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast. With the adverb of frequency, sometimes, you may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast. Just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject. And finally, you may say the following. I eat breakfast sometimes. You can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject, you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, a verb, have. Finally, we need to add a complement, fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own. I would like for you to think about food, particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and express how often you Okay, that was basically a video that we watched yesterday, but we have a knowledge section. Okay, the knowledge check. instructions. Can you please read the instructions, uh, Evan? Okay. Um... Uh, unscramble. Unscramble the sentence. Write eight sentence in the correct order. Muy bien. Entonces aquí uh, el ejemplo. Uh -huh. uh, do you know what is the meaning of uh, hardly ever, everyone? ¿Saben cuál es el significado de hardly ever? Casi nunca. Casi nunca, muy bien. Sometimes, ya sabemos que es a veces, ¿verdad? Often, eh, a menudo, y es lo que están... Eh, we have only three sentences. Entonces, la primera, ¿cómo quedaría Claudia Rodríguez? I hardly ever eat snacks at... I hardly ever at eat. work. Not at work. At work. Thank you. Thank you. 
And the second one, let me see, uh, Blanca. Okay. I sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ahora va el verbo. ¿Cuál es el verbo ahí? Muy bien. ¿Qué más? Bueno, dice que alguna vez come pasta come? en la cena. Ajá, correcto. There you go. Entonces, ¿qué come? Pasta, ¿verdad? Pasta for dinner. For dinner. Muy bien. Ahora, Mirna Amaya, can you please uh, help me with the number three? Pienso que son las dos primeras de esto, esta última. Yo le escribo. I, I, I often, often have my, my family dinner, pero no me, siempre me sale mala. I, mm -hmm. Entonces, ¿cómo sería, my friend? I often have. Uh, I often uh. have. Mm -hmm. Dinner with my family. Dinner with my family. Dinner with, with my, my family. There you go, class for everybody. Vaya, esperemos que hoy también rompamos récord como ayer. Muy bien, Manuel Alexander, can you please read the uh, objective for this class, for this topic? Okay. By the end of this class, you will read and discuss, discuss? an article, mm -hmm. discuss an, an article? article, an article about a sp a special foods, uh, develop, develop, de develop, develop. Skilling, develop Esa skilling. es muy difícil, my friend. Don't worry. It's okay. develop. <clears throat> e develop. Mm -hmm. Skills in scanning. Skills in scanning and reading for details. And reading for details. Details. Muy Detail. bien. Al final de esa clase leerán y discutirán un artículo dice sobre alimentos especiales. También desarrollarán destrezas en la lectura para la detección de los detalles, ese es el scanning, ¿verdad? Cuando nosotros estamos leyendo y vamos eh, como analizando las partes de, de la lectura. Ahora bien, vamos a ver este video. Hi everyone, in this class you'll read an article about special foods. You will also develop skills in scanning and reading for details. On New Year's Day, many people eat special foods for good luck in the new year. Some Chinese people eat tangerines. Tangerines are round. Round foods end and begin again, like years. It is a Jewish custom to eat apples with honey for a sweet new year. Greeks eat vasilopita, bread with a coin inside. Everyone tries to find the coin for luck and money in the new year. In Spain and some Latin American countries, people eat 12 grapes at midnight on New Year's Eve. One grape for good luck in each month of the new year. On New Year's Day in Japan, people eat mochi, rice cakes, for strength in the new year. Some Americans from southern states eat black-eyed peas and rice with colored greens. The black-eyed peas are like coins, and the greens are like dollars. Hi, everyone. In this class, you... New Year. Some Chinese people... Perfect. We'll be a reading section. Uh, can you see it, uh, for example, either? There's some Chinese people. Okay. 
some uh, Chinese people eat tangerines. Mm -hmm. Tangerines are around from foods um, and um, begin again like yours. Begin again. Begin again like yours. Very good job. Thank you, Heather. Uh, let me see Claudia Rodriguez, number two. It is a Jewish custom to eat apple with honey for a sweet new year. Very good job, Rocio. <laughs> Uh, Greets uh, in bas basil pit pita mm -hmm. bread with a coin inside. Every young, everyone, uh, everyone, everyone. Again, uh, again, again, the, again, like you. ¿Cómo se dice esta palabra después de everyone? Everyone tries to find every everyone tries to find the coin for look and money in the new year. Muy bien, very good job. Yes, the word that, that we are going to uh, pronounce tries and everyone. Try this. Tries fin everyone tries to find. Tries to find. Muy bien. Every, everyone. And everyone. Everyone. Muy bien. Uh, the next one. Let me see. Juana, are you there? My friend Juana, are you there? Hola. Hello. Hola. Welcome, Juana. Can you please read this uh this part in Spain and some Latin American countries? Ay. If you can, it is not a problem. Probably Elizabeth is able to help me. Elizabeth, me puede dar usted, Elizabeth Velázquez. Sí. Perfecto. Try to read this. Yo sé que aquí las letras son pequeñas porque no puedo hacerlo más grande. Así sí, que a de... no se preocupe. Me dicen y alguien más probablemente sea el teléfono y lo pueda acercar más y así, ¿ok? Ah. A ver. In Japan. No, acá in Spain and some Latin American countries. Some America from Aquí. Uh, Hay In Spanish. In Spain and some Latin American countries. Repeat. Some rank America country. Muy bien. People eat. People eat. Twelve grapes. Twelve grapes. Muy bien. Um, At midnight on New Year. Many on Revajer. Okay, repeat after me. Repeat después de mí, okay? Step by step. Vamos a ir paso a paso, no worries. Entonces yo le dije 12 grapes. 12 and grapes. <coughs> grapes. Muy bien. At midnight on New Year's. At midnight. Hola, Elizabeth, ¿me escucha? Are you there? ¿Está ahí? Creo que se desconectó. Bueno, mira, en Spain, en some Latin American countries. En San Antonio, en American countries, people eat. Uh, 12 grapes. 12 grapes at midnight. Midnight on New Year. Um, one grape. One grape. One grape. Good luck. Good 
look in eight months of the new year. New year, muy bien, excellent. Ok, palabras que vamos a, a, a aprender. A midnight. Crece en la medianoche. Midnight. Ok, repeat everybody. Midnight. Muy bien, Blanca, can you please help me with this part? Uh, on New Year days in Japan, people eat munchy, munchy, rice mm -hmm. cake. This is rice Love. cakes. Mm -hmm. Rice cake. For a strange? For a strange oh, in the New Year. Muy bien, everybody repeat a strange. 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 Muy bien, Manuel, can you see at this? Some American from Southern State. Southern. It, Southern State. Southern State. 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 State eat black, black eyes. Black eyed peas. Black eyed peas. And rice with color greens the black eyes piece the black eye piece uh, are like coins and the greens are like dollars very good thank you manuel okay now let me put this and probably we are we are going to have a knowledge a knowledge section mm -hmm. Okay, eating for good luck. This um, read the article and then select the word that completes each sentence correctly. Okay, now vamos a leer el artículo y luego selección la palabra que completa correctamente cada oración. Entonces tenemos some Chinese people eat tirings. Tirings are around, around, around. The first Wrong. word. Right? Around. Wow. Mm -hmm. Some Jewish people eat eight apples with okay. honey. Honey. Muy bien. Y el otro dice Greeks uh, eat basilopita bread with a coin. A coin. A coin inside. Inside. Right? Number four. In Spain. In Spain. Spain. Qué fácil. Cinco. <laughs> Rice. 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 Qué fácil. No me equivoco. Okay, the sex. Coins. 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 Woohoo. Muy bien, claps for everybody. Aplauso para todos. Muy bien, buen trabajo. Good job, equipo. Muy bien, entonces, the next one. Quiero ver qué más tenemos por acá. Dice, bueno, yo no quiero leer. Claudia, please read. By the end of this class, you will learn a vocabulary related to popular sports in the U.S. and Canada. Muy buen trabajo, Bárbara. Nada que corregir. Muy bien. Thank you. Entonces ahora dice que vamos a ver sports and seasons vocabulary. Pay attention. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the U.S. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall, people play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, 
People play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. Muy bien, necesito examples for everybody. Eh, por favor, todos manden su ejemplo aquí en el chat. Eh, por ejemplo, Claudia puede decir, in the spring I play soccer. Blanca dice que en summer she plays volleyball. Eh, tenemos acá los, um, los caballeros, Eder, Manuel, Javier, Josué. Ellos probablemente in the fall or in the winter play hockey, basketball, ice skating or go skiing, go hiking, go bike riding and play football. Okay, please share your examples through the chat. We have the structure there. In the structure, eh, primero vamos a poner in the spring, in the summer, or in the winter. Luego va el subject y lo que hacemos eh, de deporte en esa temporada. Vamos a ver, tengo dos por acá. Tengo Javier, dice, in the summer I play basketball. Bárbaro, excellent job. Luego dice Rocío, in the summer I go swimming. Rocío, es a nadar porque yo no puedo. Claudia dice que in the summer I play basketball. Muy bien. In the winter, uh, I play basketball, dice Manuel. Ustedes al revés hacen las cosas, pero en vez de poner ahí que van a esquiar. A ver, eh, in the spring, I swim. Sí, sería uh, swimming. Aquí sabe, go swimming. Go swimming. Muy bien. In the spring, I swimming. Muy bien, everybody. Mierda, ya me vio el suyo. Quiero ver. No. ¿Va que no? Ya la vi. Ya ve. Ahorita no Juana, Juana tampoco. Juana, what happened there? Elizabeth. Fútbol. Ya voy a permitir. Vaya. Play fútbol. Muy bien, no worries. <sighs> Dice Eder, in the summer I play soccer. Muy bien. Mirna Maya in the spring. Ahí se comió um, I play que o I go. O I go by riding, for example, or I play football, or I... Ahí Mirna eh, le falta, está incomplete, but good job. Elisa, muy bien, in the summer, I play, I play football. Muy bien, Elisa. Pero football me lo puse en español. <laughs> football is in, in English, pero muy bien. Okay, no tenemos any questions uh, con eso, ¿verdad? In the fall. Entonces, como es clear, we have exercise that we need to complete. In the lesson. Okay, please read the lesson, my friend uh, Manuel. The objective. By, by the end of this class, you will, you will learn a how to ask in simple, simple in presence. Uh-huh. Uh, wh why question? WH question. WH, WH question. Additionally, you will pra practice in conversation uh -huh. with illustrate this topic is used in a real life setting. Study. Sorry. Muy bien. Al final de esa clase aprenderán cómo formular y responder interrogativas en, con la WH. En presente simple, además practicarán una conversación, dice, la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un escenario en la vida real. 
Entonces, vamos a ver. Tengo aquí el video. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer simple present WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Play sports or watch a lot of sports. Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of compliment. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? UH word is where. Then we add the exclusive verb do. After that, we add the subject you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the compliment. In this case, we don't have a compliment because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is, who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying, with whom do you play baseball? It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with? Let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with, without adding baseball. Finally, we add with, and the question mark. Now it's your turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports, 
or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, I have here the WH questions word. Uh, what is the meaning of the WH questions word? It's uh, very simple. In a WH question is when you require or someone requires information. For example, most of the time those questions, como uh, explico, empiezan normalmente con WH. ¿Por qué? Que pueden ser why, when, who, yeah. where, yeah. and what, for example. Por eso se llaman WH question. If, if you notice, we have WH in all of them. Why, when, who, where, what. Entonces, ¿cómo podemos formular una oración con why, for example? Yo puedo decir why the sky is dark. Entonces en eso, si yo le digo a Rocío, why the sky is dark, ella me va a decir, ah, the sky is dark, y me va a explicar, ¿verdad? For this and this and this, y me va a dar información acerca del cielo. Es diferente con la yes, no question, ¿verdad? Do you, have, do you eat pizza? Entonces Rocío me dice, no, I don't. No, I don't. Es diferente, porque ahí solo me está diciendo, no, no, no como. Y aquí no, yo estoy eh, requiriendo información eh, que le estoy preguntando a Rocío. O oh, the other way around, ¿verdad? Si ella me preguntara a mí. Entonces yo le tengo que contestar. Porque si me, eh, por ejemplo, los niños toda la vida dicen, mamá, ¿qué es eso? What is that? Entonces, ¿usted qué le dice? No le puede decir sí o no, ¿verdad? Se le puede decir ah, What is A table, for example Or a cell phone Or that is my cell phone No te estamos dando mucha información En those type of questions And that is basically WH question Eso es básicamente la WH question. Todas las que empiezan con W y la H, y como ya sabemos, why, when, who. ¿Qué significan? Why significa por qué, ¿verdad? When, cuándo, who, quién, where, dónde, y what, qué. ¿Entendido? ¿Alguien tiene alguna yes, pregunta? Sir. Quiero ver, entendió Elizabeth, Javier, Manuel, Josué, Claudia, Mirna, Rocío, Eder, Juana, Blanca. Yes, yes, yes. I got it. Yes. ¿Cómo entendió tú, me manda una oración con la WH question ahorita mismo? Quiero ver, si es cierto. Bueno, lo voy a dejar ahí para que tengan una idea. Pueden usar why, who, when, where, what. Why. Es aquí. Usted decide cuál usa. Okay, tengo aquí a ver, where do you play, uh, where do you play soccer? Sí. Who do you cook now? Why are you studying English? Muy bien. The study lleva una Y in the middle of the E, -E Claudia. Okay. Muy bien, buen trabajo. Es un error de dedo nada más, a todos tenemos un error de dedo, no worries. 
Okay, thanks. What are you doing? Muy bien, Mirna Blanca Cañas. Why my garden don't have... Okay. Su garden sería doesn't have flowers. Mm -hmm. Because we are talking about objects. Why the rain is not strong? Again. Javier, what is difficult is that in English? Why? Really, it's difficult for you, but you have you have talent. <laughs> I don't believe you. No le creo, no le creo, porque usted tiene talento. Why my garden doesn't have a flowers? Doesn't have flowers. Hasta ahí, porque si digo a flowers, sería una flores. Una ah. flor. Solo have flowers. Y a ver, yo, yo, ustedes se complican, es más corto, es, es, más, es más fácil y ustedes se complican. Es más porque fácil. Porque pensamos en mucho en español. Sí, 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 tienes razón. Pasa. Uh, Elizabeth, ¿qué quiere decir ahí? Why the play is soccer? Démosle más, un poco más de sentido a, a esa sentence, please. Bueno, thank you everybody for sending your um, examples. En esa forma, eh, ustedes están como thinking, que a van a buscar vocabulario, lo escriben, y yo cuando no está bien o cuando no tenemos un buen word order. ¿Por qué? Porque seguimos pensando en español, entonces lo escribimos en español. Así que por eso los mando a escribir. Muy bien. Ahora dice, eh, Blanca, léame por favor la instrucción de este ejercicio. Okay. <coughs> uh, instruction. Complete the conversation with the correct YH question words. Muy bien, complete the conversation with the correct WH question words. Muy bien. A conversation. Dice, I watch sports on television every week. Every weekend, I'm sorry. Really, what sport do you like to watch? Soccer, it's my favorite. Entonces, ¿cómo sería la primera, Ether? Um, um, where? Muy bien, where? Mm -hmm. eh, vamos a ver, the next one, uh, Javier, ¿puede contestar? Yes. Vaya, muy bien, ¿cómo sería la segunda? On Sunday afternoon, and where do you usually watch in at home? Usted dice que es where. Muy bien, gracias, yes. Javier. Eh, quiero ver, Rocío, please. Uh, how often do you, do you go by reading? How often do you go by writing? Reading, I'm sorry. Uh, how about was a month? I know, yo no quiero leer. Claudia. <laughs> I love to go bike reading. I go every Sunday. Really? When do you go? No, qué eficiencia, Dios mío. Eh, vamos a ver, the last one me puede ayudar. Eh, Manuel. Usual uh, about one club. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I don't I don't see. Sale who, who? when, where, or how? Uh, how? Okay, how? Uh -huh. No. No, entonces sería. Uh, when? Who? Who? No. who? who? When? Who? Who? Yes. 
porque sí. está preguntando con quién va. Ok. Pero un buen trabajo. Ah, ¿quién dijo where? <ríe> ok, my friend, entonces aquí. Gwen. Es Gwen. 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 Vamos a arreglar. Lo bueno es que aquí podemos arreglar. No se preocupe. A ver, bárbaros. Muy bien, excellent job, team. Vamos a ver el the next one. Uh, lesson objective. Juana, read the lesson objective. Está en mute, my friend. Perdón, perdón. No worries. <laughs> uh, by, by the end of the class, you will learn to some not natural when using can in can't. Can and can't. Can and the can. Muy bien. Gracias, Juana. Bueno, ahora vamos a ver this video. Pay attention. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced, can, as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is, when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow this simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's mm. not difficult for you. Okay, everybody, Blanca, can you please tell me an example using can and using can't? I can ride a bike. Um, I, I can't. Um, ¿Qué es lo que hacer? Um, <laughs> Escalar una pared, ¿cómo se dice escalar? Hiking. ¿Cómo? Hiking. Ok. Uh, I can hike it a wall. Muy bien, excelente. Ahora, Juana, can you please tell me two examples using can and can't? Mm. No entendí, teacher. Claro, my friend, no se preocupe, yo le voy a explicar con mucho gusto. Thank you. Bye. Aquí hoy tenemos um, the board. Entonces, en la clase es can or can. ¿Qué significa can? Everybody, ¿qué significa? Puedo. Poder, puedo. Poder, poder, poder puedo. No puedo. No puedo. Muy bien. Entonces, yo estoy pidiendo una oración que algo que puedan, o se lo inventen, pero algo que puedan y algo que no puedan hacer. Muy bien. Entonces, yo puedo decir, I can I speak English. I'm sorry, my son, but I can. Um, y yo puedo decir, I can uh, Speak 
French. Okay, entonces, Rocío, can you please tell me two sentences? I can cook. I can cook. I can't uh, speak English. <laughs> Muy bien. I can speak English. Um, ahora, Heather, two more. I can play soccer. I I can't um uh, play golf. We okay, interview. Ahora, uh, Manuel Alexander, can you please read all of them? Puede leer todo eso. I can speak English, I can't speak French, okay. I can cook, I can't speak English, I can play so soccer, I can't play golf. Muy bien. Así se le entendió a, a, a Manuel, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la diferencia del que puede y el que no puede? Yes. I'm proud of you, my friend. Estoy orgulloso de usted. Muy bien, buen trabajo. Bueno, creo que no tenemos questions but this. Ya sabemos que es can uh, y can't. Quiero escuchar uno por uno. Eh, Blanca, can and can't. Otros. No, solo repita can and can't. Ok. Can, can't. Muy bien, Juana. Okay. Can't and can't. Can't. Como con la T va, va a hacer la, la, la mayor fuerza, the end, cuando lo decimos en negativo. Ok, en positivo se lo escribe en can't. Can en can't. Muy bien, gracias. Va Manuel. Can en can't. Bárbaro, no, si usted es el experto en este tema. Rocío. <risa> can en can't. Muy bien, Mirna Maya. Can and can't. Otra vez. Can and can't. Can and can't. Can and can't. Can't. Vamos a hacer at the end. Can't. Can and can't. Can and can't. Muy bien, Josué. Can and can't. Muy bien, Josué. Thank you, Claudia. Can. En Kent. Bárbara, excelente. Eder. Kent en Kent. Muy bien, excelente. Javier. Javier, no le escucho. Yo. Ken Buenas, me escucho. Ahorita sí. Ken and Kent. Eso, Javier. Eh, muy bien, everybody. Bueno, vamos a la última session. Así que ahorita Rayo McQueen porque ya estamos en la last session. Eh, Javier, ya que usted fue el último, por favor, read the lesson objective. Be the end of the class. You will learn how to ask and answer question using can for ability. Muy bien. By the end. Repeat, my friend. Perdón, perdón. By the end. By the end. Muy bien. Y luego vamos a decir ask. 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 Ability. Ab ability. Ability. Eso. Ahora con ability. las preguntas. Dígalo otra vez. Perdón, perdón, casi no lo escuché. Ahora con las correcciones que hicimos, vuélvalo a leer. Be the end of by the class. The end. Como que diga by. Bye. The, by bye. the end. By mm -hmm. the end of the class, you will learn how to ask and answer question using came for ability. Eso, excelente. Bien. Buen trabajo, Javier. Todos estamos orgullosos. Okay. 
Vamos a poner un video. Okay, my friends. Vamos a aprender about this. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates. Bueno, eh, necesito que lean esta conversación. Dos personas. Eh, Josué, can you please eh, me puede ayudar? Puede ser mi volunteer. Yes. Y Rocío, eh, bueno, Rocío va a ser Kaila y Josué eh, va a ser Philip, ¿ok? Ok. Vaya, go ahead. Oh, look, there's a talent contest, ¿cómo contest. se dice? Contest, contest on Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, let's end there. I I can enter a talent contest. What can, can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. We, you can do in a real life. Mm -hmm. oh, oh no, I can't. I can't sing at all. But I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Eso, aplaude por favor todas sus compañeros, excelente trabajo. Bárbaro este equipo. Muy bien, entonces ahora lo siguiente va a ser Claudia Rodríguez. Y sí, my friend uh, Manuel Alexander. Pero que canten, pero que canten. Pero gane, o sea, pero pongámosle. Pues, si aquí mis amigos lo hicieron bien, ustedes lo van a hacer 100 veces mejor, porque ya les dieron el ejemplo. O sea, ahora con todo. Muy bien. Claudia, usted es Kaila y Manuel, usted es Philip. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, look. There's a talent contest on Saturdays. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I, what can I do? You can seem really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too? Oh, no, I can't sing at, at all. But mm -hmm. I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Let's practice tomorrow. Uh, well, okay, very excellent job. Aplaudan, pues, no sean así. <laughs> <laughs> qué bárbaro, no le aplaudan a los compañeros. No, qué bárbaro. Muy bien, excelente. Los teams, ambos teams estuvieron perfectos. Me gustó, excelente trabajo. Estoy orgullosa, equipo de ustedes. Esto fue desde ahora. Como no tuvieron questions, ¿verdad? Entonces ahorita ya nos vamos a dormir todos. Buen trabajo, descansen, gracias por unirse. Nos vemos mañana. Take care. Good night. 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 Good